sir, I got a hand over here. Was it? Yes, sir. So you, you mentioned, you, you jokingly mentioned early on that you know, you've exhausted your personal role with excellent and alcoholic you know, people. Uh, the three years that we've come, you know, everybody, especially the sort of the outsider acts, seem to be like initially kind of, what is this thing? And then by the end of the week, they're like, this is a great thing. Mm -hmm. Does that reputation carry over and help in, in booking or at least getting returned phone calls? Yeah, the, so the question is, uh, sort of the, the people who aren't people that we've known before when they come in, uh, the, performers, the performers that when we win them over, does that help us book other performers? I think the, the short answer is yes. It certainly increases sort of the, the, the base of people they, those, those folks can call to say, you know, so what is this cruise about? You went on it last year. Um, uh, but it is funny because uh, it, it is a recurring theme and there's always at least one performer who's really kind of skittish. Like, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're not upset or anything, but they really don't, aren't sure what to make of this cruise thing. And by the end of it, they could not be happier. Um, uh, not, not to single him out, but Randall Monroe, uh, who is the sweetest guy you ever knew, really was not sure where his place would be in this and how he was going to deal with all of this or something and he was he is our one of our biggest cheerleaders at this point he, he can't say enough nice things about the cruise whenever we talk to him and i will say almost without exception the performers who come on the ship discover that this is the one of the greatest greatest audiences they've ever performed for whether they are known to this audience or not um and you know i'm just thinking about this year ria and Hari and Amy and Ted have all said to me individually, like, what, what a fantastic crowd of people this is, and what a great audience this is, and... And Jean, she is obviously... And Jean, you know, Jean. Jean. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Red Jean loves you. But they say, you know, they, the thing that keeps coming back to me, the feedback that I keep getting, is they're like, this, there's so much uh, love and sincerity in this group, and it's really a rare, it's really a rare thing for a performer to come uh, to come into a scene cold like that, uh, to, you know, the, I, I, I delight in playing for my fans. I cannot stand playing for people who don't know who I am. It is so much less fun. Uh, and, uh, and I think the exceptional thing about, about this group is that even the people who are totally unknown to this crowd uh, find, find that the crowd is really receptive, as if, as if, they have been, as if you have been their fans all so it's a really wonderful thing to see. Oh, and I have I have just one note about something that pretty much all the new performers have mentioned to me is they have noticed what an incredible community you guys are. Um, like last night, Rio was at the LGBTQ best happy hour and was pretty impressed. Like just kind of sort of blown away by how like, inclusive and open and like supportive and kind you all are to each other. Um, and so, I don't know, I think that's really cool, and I think it's something that comes through from you guys, even, uh, even the people who are, who are new and who are maybe skittish uh, and observing from a little bit of a distance. And that, that is uh, one of the things that makes doing this awesome for me. We, you know, you mentioned Rhea. This just goes back to another thing. Rhea's, Rhea's another person who, like, she, <laughs> you know, when she came to the Artemis training last night, she, she looked... She looked, she was like, I want to be engineering, obviously. <laughs> and then she looked at the, she watched someone being trained on the engineering panel for a while, and then she came back to me and she shook my hand and she said, thank you for this. I've been waiting my whole life to do something like this. Rhea is one of those people who is a, like, would you, would you call Rhea a nerd? No, probably not. But, you know, she's now right. She well, now she is. I know. She's right there. She's right there. She's right there with us. Uh, and it's, it's, uh. I'm, I'm always excited when you get that little, little secret, secret nerd thing pokes out. It's great. Ted Leo and the Silmarillion. I know Ted Leo. <laughs> he, he has an entire Tolkien library he wanted to bring this trip. Yeah, he, literally. At some yeah. at some point, he entertained the idea of doing a every night a midnight reading from the Silmarillion. <laughs> yeah, today, today, today is hug Ted Leo. Today, so you see him just getting hugged.